Please drink responsibly. Thank you. <laughs>hope you're doing well if you are new to my channel welcome my name is Claudia thank you so much for watching today's video we are of course going to be talking about how to set up the perfect bar cart at home since we're probably not going to bars for a while right we can pretend we're at a bar in the comfort of our own home <laughs> I don't know about you guys but since the pandemic started my family and I have been doing a wee bit more drinking than usual which inspired me to make this video so let's just go ahead and get started and I'm going to show you guys all that you need to know to set up the perfect bar cart in your own home. The first thing you're going to want to do is find a good location for your bar cart. Ours is right next to our living room, which is where we usually sit and actually have drinks. And the kitchen is just a very far walk away. So it's lovely to just have the bar cart right here and top off or freshen up drinks without having to walk all the way to the kitchen. Once you have the perfect location, you obviously need a bar cart or a table or some sort of tray or any surface that you can set out alcohol, cups, accoutrements, and all that jazz on. We are currently using this lovely bar cart from the 50s that was my grandmother's and it has been treating us very well since this started. And I like how it has different sections for alcohol, for placing your drink and making your drink, and then this side for glasses. And also has shelves underneath so we can put some more mixers underneath that aren't in cute bottles and kind of ruin the aesthetic, if you will. The next thing you'll need, of course, if you want to drink out of something, are glasses. I am lucky enough to be a grown-up who lives with my parents. So we have some lovely crystal that we use from their wedding. And most people don't have that, which is totally cool. I definitely won't have that when I leave here. But it's nice to have cups that are different than your normal everyday just water drinking cups because it makes the experience much nicer and much more meaningful if you have special cups for your cocktails. The next most important thing you're gonna need are libations, which you can find on this section of our bar cart. This is obviously very customizable and changes based on what your normal drinking habits or preferences are, but we keep gin, tequila, rum, vodka, Campari Aperol, and then some Angostura bitters and dry vermouth for martinis. Next up to make a delicious cocktail, you need mixers. If you're into just drinking straight alcohol, that's great. I personally am not, so we keep mostly tonic water at our bar cart and also our soda stream for just some sparkling water. In my opinion, those are the two best mixers and most used in our house personally, but I know a lot of people also really like ginger beer or some sort of like splash of Coke or Diet Coke in their drinks as well which is a nice option to have for your guests, if you ever have guests over again. Next up, something that we usually always have out here, which is in the fridge right now, are sliced up lemon wedges. And of course, you can do lemons, limes, oranges, or if you're gonna be making martinis, some olives, or even some of those like maraschino cherries if you wanna get super fun and super fancy. But I think lemons and limes are a pretty standard addition and great thing to have on any bar cart. And if you want to keep it Corona cool, you can have, you know, some toothpicks or little tongs with the citrus so that you can pick them up in a more sanitary manner than just with your bare hands. Another good option if you want to make fancier cocktails, like I mentioned before, we have bitters out and dry vermouth. Obviously, some people prefer or also like to have sweet vermouth. But in our house, we just use the dry vermouth and the bitters on a regular basis, which is why it's out. But those are definitely an essential if you're going to be making cocktails as well. 
I would say another standard and essential thing to have on your bar cart as well is a bucket of ice. Either to refresh your drink or to put it in a shaker and shake up a new cocktail. Ice is definitely something that you wanna have on your bar cart and easily accessible. So again, you don't have to walk all the way. to the kitchen to get ice. Let's do a quick recap of what we have so far. We have cups, we have mixers, we have liquor, we have additions, we have ice. What else do we need? Of course, accoutrements. First up, a jigger. This one is a two ounce on one side and one ounce on the other side. They do come in a variety of sizes, but this is helpful for measuring out your drinks so that you can keep track of how much you're drinking. Please drink responsibly. Thank you. Another very important thing to have is a cocktail shaker. I love this one. It's obviously not as like cool or aesthetic as those kind of like chrome ones or gold ones, but I love it because it's see-through, it's glass, and when you shake it, you can actually see your drink so you know if you need to shake it more or less, if you wanna put more ice in, it's awesome that you can actually see through it. And the top is really easy to pull off because it's rubber and it has these little grips on it right here. And then it has a built-in strainer top as well to strain your drinks. If you want your cocktails just stirred, this is the way to go. You just put ice in here, put your drink in here, stir it up, and then put this on. I don't know the technical term for this strainer you put this on pour your drink flawless and of course a stirring spoon we also always keep a bottle opener on our bar cart as well even though none of the things on here require that at the moment you never know another essential for me personally straws I hate paper straws, but glass straws I think are wonderful. You can do metal straws, which I also don't like. Glass straws are really the only straws I like. Or those like re reusable, like washable plastic straws, which are obviously not the best either, but they're better than single use plastic straws. But it's always nice to have straws for your cocktails. And if you wanna get extra fun and fancy and lively with your cocktails, you can add some herbs to the mix, some mint, some basil. It's still summer, right? Our herbs are still going strong outside, so it's always nice to put a little fresh mint in a drink or a little sprig of basil to really just bring it to the next level. That is it for today's video, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate the support, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.